The 15 weirdest sea creatures you never knew existed Number 15 Ocean Sunfish These chaps are the heaviest bony fish in the world. They mostly eat jellyfish and the females of the species can lay up to 300 million eggs at a time. Which is pretty damn impressive is not it? They are eaten by sharks and killer whales but not humans. Well they are considered a delicacy in some areas of Asia but not outside of countries such as Taiwan and Korea Number 14. Inipneasts Found in the northern Gulf of Mexico these are see-through sea cucumber type things but if you think inipneasts or see-through sea cucumber is a strange name try the headless chicken fish on for size. That's what oceanographers named this weirdo sea creature when they first discovered it floating about at 2,500 meters below the ocean's surface. Number 13. Water Bears These little things are often known as the toughest creatures alive today. They can live in freezing conditions, survive being boiled and even be in space with no detrimental effects. Plus somewhat incredibly they live up to 200 years old and are so hardy they can survive nuclear explosions. They are only small mine the average water bear measures in at just one millimeter. Number 12. Squidworm. Half squid half worm The squidworm is quite well named it has a bunch of long tentacles attached to its head that are there for picking up sea detritus to feast on this floating food is known as marine snow and while a little unappetizing sounding provides squidworms with everything they need to survive you can find these strange little sea creatures off the coast of Indonesia you know if you really wanted to. Number 11. The Ribbon Eel. Some people call this oddly flat types of moray eels Pyrenees eels, famed for their similarity to the Chinese dragon because of their long thin bodies because of this they are desired animals for fish tanks and aquariums across the Far East. But the trouble with that is that ribbon eels cannot survive in captivity. No one really knows why but the poor things normally die after just a month when they are not in their natural habitat. So let's just leave them there okay. Number 10. The Barley Fish These glum looking fish are also known as spook fish. They are found in the Pacific Ocean and must be the only fish to look normal but for their entirely translucent heads this allows them to not only see in front of them but above them too while they have been about almost forever. It was only quite recently that scientists and marine biologists managed to capture pictures and footage of these mad looking things. Number 9. Sea Spiders Aquarachnophobes beware these leggy creatures creep about the bottom of the sea just like normal land dwelling spiders okay they do not create webs but they are pretty similar they feed on other sea creatures but in a fairly nasty way they suck the juices out of them things like sea anemones clams and sponges get their sloppy innards slurped out by these eight leg chaps so the sea versions of spiders are even more horrible than the ones you get in the bath at home number eight Blobfish. This wobbly pile of flesh is known as the ugliest animal in the world and with good reason. But if you find them terrifying you need not worry it's unlikely that you will ever come across one these fellas live more than 4,000 feet deep. The most fascinating thing about them is that apparently they do not look like blobs in their natural habitat. The pressure difference means that they lose form when brought up to the waters. Surface word number 7. The Sarcastic Fringe Head. These things are only small, but they are known as angry, angry dudes. Their behavior is unprecedentedly ferocious and scary. Their crazily scary looking appearance can be called upon during one of their territorial displays of machismo found off the coast of San Francisco. They have become a bit of a desired species by people with marine fish tanks mostly due to them looking a bit like predator. Number 6. Salp You would be forgiven for thinking that salp are just plasticy things that have been thrown into the sea but far from being litter these odd looking things are actually squid like fish that can live in all types of water they just float about the place a bit gobbling up plankton and hanging out in large schools confusing fishermen and being all see through bizarre. Number 5. 
the bobbit worm. These crazy looking things hide on the ocean bed patiently waiting to sense prey with their highly developed antennae once they find something tasty nearby they spring out of hiding and attack at a terrifying speed and use their teeth to kill with ease the razor sharp gnashers. They have are capable of actually slicing a fish into two which is pretty impressive. Number 4. The Red Lip Batfish. Pretty unique looking the red lip batfish is a strange thing and no mistake they are fish, but they cannot really swim. Which is crazy right? Right luckily for them they have adapted and worked out a way to get about by walking on their pectoral fins as such you will only find these bad boys on the very bottom of the ocean strolling about looking all weird. Number 3. The Comb Jellyfish. We all know that jellyfish are damn weird things after all you do not get many animals in nature that are entirely gelatinous to you. Well apart from John Goodman obviously but there is just something about the comb jelly that separates it from the rest of its floppy peers they are kind of beautiful and their design clearly works for them they have been about for over 500 million years. Number 2. Goblin Shark a particularly ugly deep sea shark these things have to be the least attractive ocean dwellers going they have been about for more than 125 million years scaring everyone in their pants they are big old things to measuring in at a whopping four meters long there's no need to worry about these fellas though they live at such a depth that they are absolutely no danger to humans whatsoever number one the axolotl also known as the Mexican salamander the axolotl is an odd looking thing is not it, but so strangely cute at the same time these amphibians may well be pretty adorable but they have had a pretty hard time of it centuries ago they were enjoyed as the main part of the Aztecs diet. Surviving that they then ended up being one of nature's most popular animals with scientists being used in research because of their ability to regenerate limbs poor things. Thank you for watching, please hit like and subscribe to appreciate our work because to make such videos it require a lot of time and hard work.